Hi everyone, let's make some infusions. Prepare the herbs and jars before commencing. I'm grinding my yellow dot to a powder before I begin. Ensure to weigh your ingredients and keep accurate records. If you ever want to repeat the process, you'll be really glad you did. Place the herbs in the bottles and fill with the olive oil. Place the bottles into a large pot and half fill it with water to create a hot water bath. Bring to a simmer and hold for at least half an hour. Watch for the colour of your oils to change. The bottles are hot, be very careful. My infusions have cooled down and we're ready to make soap. I've pre-measured all my oils. I'm using coconut oil, safflower oil and my infused olive oil to make cupcakes. So I've split the batch into two halves and half will be using the yellow dot and the other half will be using the woad. I can't wait to see this colour. This is the yellow dot that I'm adding to the oils. Just getting every last bit out of the glass that I've had it measured in. And don't forget um, to strain the oil before using it in your batch. It's um, much better to remove any fine particles that could be present. You've got to have a closer look at this. It's a really, really pretty colour. Not sure exactly what it's going to finish up like. Now we'll use our woad infusion and get it started. So I'm just adding the uh, infused oil to the coconut and safflower oils, making sure I get as much out of the glass as I can. Now I'm going to add my lye to the woad infused oils. And I'm soaping today at room temperature because I'm wanting as much working time as possible with my cupcakes. Let's add half of the essential oil to each jug and mix it through. 
I'm not going to do much talking through this process because I realise that my audio doesn't seem to be matching up properly so I'll just allow you to watch so that I can concentrate. I've just moved you a little closer so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better.
Okay, so our yellow dock needed to rest and thicken up a little bit more and I actually had to leave it for quite some time um, and I've come back, it's actually night time now so I actually had to wait about two hours for it to be firm enough to pipe. There you are, all finished. I've just got a little bit left over that I'm going to put into this extra uh, mould I've got here on the edge. And um, I normally get to keep the leftovers to try myself, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. I'll just um, put it in there for the purpose of putting it somewhere. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll bring you back and show you what these look like once they've cured for a couple of days. Thanks again. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and leave comments below if you'd like to ask any questions. Have a great day. Bye.